What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time video for you. I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible because I am running out of time with recording as well today. Um, as the title and the thumbnail will say, I have almost drowned. This actually goes back to um, right before high school, so I'm counting it as like a high school memory type story time. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, so my school, the end of the year school trip for the eighth grade before we're going into uh, high school, even though it's still in the school, before we're transitioning into the high school method of things, uh, they had an end of the year, end of the year school trip. And it was a three day uh, trip um, to Camp Winona, which from where I live, coach bus was four to six hours, I believe. And um, the park that it is located in is actually bigger than the province of PEI. If you're Canada and you know what PEI is, uh, or know where it is, the size of it, sorry. Um, but anyway, so we went there, and there's a lot of events. I loved archery, I loved a whole bunch of the stuff we were doing. Um, but what had happened and how I almost drowned was kayaking, which I've never been kayaking before, but it was really fun. I did enjoy it. It was a great experience, except the fact that I almost drowned. Now, how this happened, I think this might have been day two or late day one, um, depending on when we got there. I, I can't honestly remember that because it was so long ago, but these kayaks, it wasn't that it was a small kayak. Um, it was just snug. There was ones that were more roomier. And so when I got in this kayak and we're the whole, everybody, the whole uh, class. So I would say close to 50 people, 40, 50 people. We're all in this, the beach area, all on kayaks, um, all having a blast learning to kayak. And then a one of the teachers actually decided, okay, it's time to start trying to flip kids. Needless to say, um, I kind of blame the, the counselors for this. They never really... Um, explained what to do when you flip and I was the first one to get flipped in my kayak um, and go under the water so I've been trying to think of how to explain this in a video let's say my hand is the uh, kayak um, so getting in the kayak my legs went in and this is kind of my head not sticking out and whenever he flipped me I'm under the water well, where I figured I'll just escape and get out, um, as soon as I went under the water, my back flipped up and pinned me to it, and I'm flailing my arms, and everybody thought, oh, he's just joking to that. Nobody tried to help me or save me, and I was actually drowning uh, at the time, and I think only one girl caught on. I think she realized she's like, and she started bawling, um, saying, uh, I think he needs help, which I really did because I was at that point drowning. And when my back pinned up against it, because the back of it was raised up more than I think some of the other ones were, um, my back kind of just gave and I was kind of stuck there. I couldn't get free. So then as I'm under the water, I think I kind of just gave up and said, screw it. And whatever happens, happens. And whenever I did that, my legs kind of freed out and I just slid right out. So now I know what to do if I actually flip. But nobody really explained us that that day, which to me is sad whenever you are you have this many kids, all from around Canada or Ontario maybe, um, going different times in the year, different schools, different events, different stuff like that. You would take the time to explain stuff like this because that could have ended really bad and I could have a potentially um, died that day, but the rest of that uh, was fun. The problem I had was the teacher was kind of pissed, not that I almost drowned or anything like that. He was more pissed because he had to stop, uh, help me take my kayak out of the water, get a bigger, not, not a bigger size kayak, but one of the ones that were more roomier in them, uh, bring it back in the water, so that gave him less time to be kayaking the rest of the the time because he had actually helped me to go and do that. So I, I will say that. Other than that, 
canoeing. There was a bitch. Uh, the reason I say that is because we, uh, meaning me, my friend, my cousin, went into one, uh, oh, sorry, canoe. We went into one canoe. Uh, we were doing the late night canoeing, the whole uh, class, so everybody from our school. When we were in our pajamas, so we weren't ready to go into water. And we got the last canoe. Sadly, it was duct taped. No joke. Covered in duct tape. Didn't have a problem with it. Well, we did. We did raise concerns, but they just didn't acknowledge it. They said it's fine. So us being kids, we said, okay, it must be fine. So we get in it. We start canoeing. A couple minutes later, we realize it's starting to fill up with water. We managed to canoe to another part, which isn't owned by our camp. Needless to say, we got out. They told us we can't, we have to get back in and go back. So we were pissed off and we were, we were getting towed so we could go a little bit faster. So people were holding on to our canoe while canoeing theirs and we we're trying to go as fast as we could. They told us it wouldn't fill up. Well, at this point it was halfway, maybe three quarters of the way full. We we're back maybe six, no, 10 feet from the dock. Went the rest of the way and we were soaked. Um, but yeah. I, I almost drowned, and then that happened, and there's a few other things that happened that day. But unfortunately, I am out of time. This is just a quick little simple story time video for you guys of a couple little things that happened at camp. It was Camp Winona, by the way, if I did not mention it. I can't remember if I mentioned that uh, or not. But the guidance, counsel or guidance counselors, the counselors at the camp didn't really explain anything, and I don't think we were prepared to be counselors for a camp that had this many kids coming in every week every day type situation especially when you give a give them a duct taped canoe and it fills up with water and within the first couple minutes and you say it's fine so you have them get back in it and then it sinks by the time you get back like to me that was just poor poor management poor decision making on their part um, and with me almost drowning, I feel that they should have acknowledged it a little bit better and maybe explained it. Or maybe it's a learning experience for them too. Maybe now they know, shit, we got to go and um, explain to the, these kids. When you flip, you know, try to release your legs and slide right out, which I didn't know and I got pinned. Um, so it's not really their fault, but they should have explained how to get out. So I would have known. If I would have known, I don't think that would have happened and I wouldn't have almost drowned. But anyways, this video is longer than I think it had to be. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, this is story time number four, I believe. Number five, number six are going to be out soon. I'm going to be trying to do it weekly every Tuesday. As long as my hours and I get Tuesdays off from work, I will continue that. If work starts to pick up again, not that I care much anymore. But if work starts to pick up. You'll receive it once a week on whatever day off I get that week. Um, so just look forward to that. And I did make a playlist. So go check out all the previous ones I done. Uh, I done did. And I'm going to continue to upload them in the playlist section. So I will see you guys in the next one. I'm done rambling. But uh, yeah, I almost died. Anyways, take care. Peace.